We begin here at six with breaking news. A push to keep postal workers safe tonight after a letter carrier was shot and killed while she delivered the mail on her route. Matabel Gonzalez is live at Chicago Police Headquarters. Matabel, you've been tracking crimes against postal carriers. Erica, we have we've told you about back to back armed robberies of letter carriers just in the last few weeks alone. Now, this latest incident, a tragedy that could have been prevented. At least that's according to Elise Foster. She is the president of the Letter Carriers Union here in Chicago. For months, she's been sounding the alarm on the security concerns. She says her members face every single day. Now, the most recent attack just after 11 this morning when a gunshot when a gunman shot and killed postal worker Octavia Redman. The 48 year old was in front of a home on the West 122nd Street in West Pullman when an unknown man walked up to her and started shooting. She died at Christ Hospital. The gunman got away. Now, just last week, we spoke to Foster about the armed robbery of a postal worker in the Bronzeville neighborhood in June. It's happening in broad daylight and caught on surveillance video. Those images shared just days ago and shortly before that incident, a series of robberies of letter carriers trucks on the city's northwest side. Those happening within a span of only a couple hours. Now at that time, Foster was urging the police, the community and the federal government to step in and help. Today, she's echoing that call. At this point, my letter carriers are scared to deliver mail. And if they scared to deliver mail, they cannot be forced to go out and deliver mail because they want to get home to their families. And I want them to return to their families. I want everybody to hear this. You know, I'm tired of talking. Something needs to be done. This afternoon, these images at the Letter Carriers Union's office, the flag lowered to half staff as members there grieve the death of their colleague. Colleague, we're told counselors will also be available tomorrow at the station where Octavia Redman worked. Foster also tells us that shortly after this incident, CPD Superintendent Larry Snelling reached out to her. She will be meeting with him in the next few days to discuss security measures. We're live outside of CPD headquarters. Maribel Gonzalez, CBS News, Chicago. Maribel, thank you.